Our next constellation is called the Large Bird and is represented by a swan. It has one star shining on its head, another of the same brightness on its neck, five on each of its wings, and one in its tail. Just like a bird on the wing in fair weather, it glides towards the far horizon, as though on a favorable breeze. The Greeks call this constellation Kaknos, the swan, but many, through ignorance of the legend, have called it Ornus, a name that is applied to birds in general. It is said that at a time, Zeus lustily pursued Nemesis, who often took the form of a swan to avoid Zeus's advances. At his bidding, Aphrodite assumed the appearance of an eagle. Zeus, pretending to be a swan, then fled from her and took refuge with Nemesis, settling on her lap. In this form, she did not reject him. And while she slept, Zeus raped her. He then flew away and was seen flying high into the sky. People exclaimed that a swan had been set amongst the constellations. To prevent a falsehood from being spread, Zeus placed the swan into the constellations, along with the eagle in pursuit. For her part, Nemesis brought forth an egg in due time. Hermes carried it off and took it to Sparta, where he placed it into the lap of Leda. And from it was born Helen, who surpassed all other women in beauty, and Leda passed her off as her daughter. According to other accounts, Leda was the woman who slept with Zeus after he turned into a swan, but we will leave that point unresolved. Others say that a swan was placed into the heavens in honor of Apollo, for it is a musical bird. For this reason, it lies next to the lyre. In yet other accounts, Cycnos mourned the death of his friend Phaethon so greatly that his cries of anguish persuaded the gods to place him in the heavens in the form of a swan. This is said to be the origin of the term swan song. Are you interested in the mythology of the classical constellations? Then be sure to subscribe for more as I'll be going through them all.